This video is going to cover the topic of adding integers, chip model. Be sure the date and topic are at the top of your page. The essential question that needs to be on your paper is how do we use the chip model to demonstrate adding integers? The first thing I want to be sure to share is that two colors are often associated with positive and negative numbers. And those two colors are red and black. And red is typically the color of negative numbers, and black is the color of positive numbers. In business, you'll often hear people say they are in the red when they are losing money. On the other hand, you'll hear the expression in the black when they are making money. So that's important to know uh, because in math class we will be using red to show the negative and we'll use black to show positive, but sometimes we'll also every once in a while use yellow. So just be mindful that also yellow might also be the chip for positive. But red and black are typically the colors that you'll use. And we're going to use these colors when we use integer chips. And integer chips are just a tool that we can use to kind of hold on to while we're working. And a red chip, like you see here below, would represent a negative number. So these would be negatives. And a black chip would represent any positive numbers. So let's look at a quick example. These two black chips would represent a positive 2. Right? You can, cannot, you don't need to put that little positive symbol there, but it helps to clarify. So that represents a positive 2. Whereas these th three chips would be a negative, 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 so this would be a negative 3. And that time, of course, we need to make sure we have our symbol there. And we can use these chips when we're trying to add positive and negative numbers. Let's start by looking specifically at adding two negative numbers. So let's say I want to add negative 4 plus negative 3. Well, thinking about my chips, I need to use red, right? I'm talking about negatives. So I'm going to start by making four red chips. And then, since I'm adding on, I'm going to have more, right, of the same. I'm going to add three more red chips. They're still red because I'm still talking about negatives. And when I look at that together, right, I can see, oh, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven red chips. And since red means negative, that means my sum is a negative 7. So negative 4 plus negative 3 is a negative 7. Let's do another. Let's use the chips to model negative 2 plus negative 6. So think for a moment what you need. Using the chip model, I know I'm going to be using negative, which means I'm going to be using red chips. So I'm going to start with two red chips. And then, of course, I'm going to add on and I'm using negative six, so I need six more red chips. At which point I can now look at my total and say I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight red chips, which of course means they are negative, so it's a negative eight. The sum of negative two plus negative six is negative eight. So that's what it would look like if we're adding two negative numbers. We can also use the chip model to add a positive and a negative number. So when there are different signs on different sides of zero, right? One's to the left and one's to the right. And here we need to remember what we learned about making zero. And I'll start small with our reminder. So here's our reminder, negative one plus one. We know that these are opposites. So we know that the additive inverse property tells us that this equals zero, right? Any number plus its opposite makes zero. And if I'm looking at my chips, it means I would have one red chip and one black chip. And together, if I kind of group them together, this makes what we call a zero pair. A zero pair is when you have a positive and a negative and they cancel each other out to make zero. This will be a useful thing to remember as we move into higher numbers. So let's try another example. So let's do negative 4 plus 5. And I'm looking at what I need for my chip model. I know I have negative 4, which means I need 4 red chips. And then I'm adding 5, and it's a positive 5, right? It doesn't have a negative symbol there, so I'm just adding a positive 5, which means I need 5 black chips. So now looking at these, what I'm doing is going to look for zero pairs. I know that these two together 
make zero. These two together make zero, zero, and zero. All I'm left with is one black chip. And black means it's positive. So that means my answer here is just one, right? And I can put the little positive there if I want to clarify, right? But it's positive one, right? Negative four plus five leaves me with one positive chip after I take away all of my zero pairs. Let's do another. This time let's do negative seven plus three. I'm going to make my model and then I'm going to look for zero pairs. Go ahead and make your model as well. Okay, so the way I've lined it up, it's pretty clear to me here that I have one, two, three zero pairs, which leaves me with all of this behind, right? I have four red chips left, and they're red. That means they're negative. So that means negative seven plus three is a negative four. And I have two more that I'd like you to model. And this is what I'm going to look for in your spirals tomorrow. So I want you to write down the number sentences and do the modeling for me. I want to see your chips. So I'll be looking for negative 5 plus 8. And then I'll also be looking for 3 plus negative 6. And to get your homework credit, make sure you have these completed. Right? Don't just write the number down. Make sure you have your chips. So give yourself plenty of room to do that. And remember that the essential question of the video was how do we use the chip model to demonstrate adding integers. Be sure to have your notes, be sure to have your answers to the two questions that I've asked, and also write down any questions you might have that we could go over in class together.